Does your game run like garbage? Well, if you're one of the 127% of players that have one of these, this video will help you optimize VMG Drive so it doesn't turn your potato into french fries. Tip number zero, set your graphics to lowest. I should preface, this video is meant to help low-end devices run the game at a playable frame rate. Beam needs at least 30 FPS to run at real time, which means we'll need to trade quality until we get to that 30 FPS target. If you already have good performance, see my other video that details methods on how to make the game look even better. Tip number one, try using Vulkan. I made some mistakes explaining this last time, so I'll amend them here. Vulkan is an experimental renderer. It may perform very well on some devices and very poorly on others. Try it out at least once. Who knows? You might get a free performance boost. CK's low end settings. I've touched on it a little in the past, but along with high detail settings, CK's graphics mod also has a handful of settings that will help improve performance. But before I can get to those, we first need to get the mod installed and set up. Luckily, the mod is pretty easy to install. Just hop over to the mod page, link in description, scroll down and click here to download. It may take a minute. After it's finished, launch Beam and open your mods folder. Then, all that's left is to move your new download into the repo folder you just opened. Let's make sure it's bound to the right key. Open the controls menu, navigate to general debug, and bind toggle graphic settings. In this example, I'm using H. Hit apply and you're ready. After that, simply press the assign key and the menu will open. Then, click here to show the low-end settings. I'll list through them quickly, but if you're going to go this far, I recommend turning them all on. Lower shadows resolution. Don't render details. Lower terrain quality. Lower texture quality. If you're still not at 30 FPS, let's keep going. Tip number three. Zeit's graphics mod. An alternative to CK's graphics, Zeit's graphics provides a slightly more hands-on approach in return for better results. The mod has been updated since I last covered it, but the installation and use is pretty much the same. First, let's get the mod installed and set up. Again, click the link in the description, that will take you to the forms page where you can download the mod. Just like we did with CK's graphics, open your mods folder and plop that download straight into the repo. Next, let's assign that keybind. Head to Controls, General, and Bind Toggle Graphics Utils. Now that it's bound, press your assigned key and the menu should open, and click on Profile Manager. Now, this mod has a couple options, so we'll try them in descending order. First, find Performance, and click Apply. Now, check your FPS using Control F. If the average is above 30, then the remaining steps are not necessary but you still might find them helpful. Assuming your FPS is still lower than 30, we'll try the next lowest setting. Potato, click apply and check your FPS. If you're still not at 30 FPS, let's keep going. Tip number four, lower your resolution. Only do this as a last resort, but if you still aren't getting above 30 FPS, try lowering your resolution. To do this, go to display settings, make sure your display mode is set to full screen, then try lowering your resolution to the next lowest value, making sure the aspect ratio is the same. Then click apply. There aren't really any more major performance affecting tips, so I'll just call these bonus tips. Bonus tip number one, simplified vehicles. If you play with traffic, try enabling use simplified vehicles. This setting lowers the amount of parts of traffic vehicles, which can give a small improvement in performance. Sister to the setting, Simplified Collisions, can give a huge boost in performance, but at the cost of completely disabling vehicle-on-vehicle -vehicle collisions, meaning you can't smash into another car, but definitely the guardrail behind it. Bonus tip number two, turn on Motion Blur. Motion Blur may not actually make your game run faster, but it does increase perceived performance and can make your game feel significantly smoother. I recommend turning this on, but remember to still shoot for 30 FPS, or your game won't actually run at real time. If none of these tips work for you, and you're still running at lower than 30 FPS, then I guess you just have to BUY A BETTER COMPUTER! Poor. <laughs> there better be some context to that. <laughs> That's how you make like exposed videos, you only like, you cut stuff out and you pull them out of context. 
anyways, if you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful, don't be afraid to slam that like button. I guess you could also press the subscribe button too if you want. Bye!